Well, hello my darlings and welcome to a new vlog, our travel vlog for our summer holiday here in Mallorca. We have been here for just over 24 hours. Charlie and I got an early flight yesterday morning. We just totally chilled out yesterday and it is currently half past six on in the evening or afternoon on our second day. So I thought it's about time I pick up the vlogging camera. I always do this when we're on holiday, especially if it's a proper holiday, not like press trip or something. I really put off picking up the vlogging camera for some reason, but I'm going to be doing a little bit of a what we're doing and what I'm wearing while here in Mallorca. Both Charlie and I have been to Mallorca before. For me, it was about eight years ago. Um, Charlie used to come here all the time as a little boy, but neither of us have been to this particular part of the island before. We are in the, I think the far east of the island. The nearest town is somewhere called Arta and it is absolutely beautiful. We're here for one week and Charlie found this incredible hotel. I'll pop some clips up on the screen here that I filmed over the last 24 hours, including a clip of our room before we unpacked and got our stuff absolutely everywhere. It's a really lovely, um, kind of like a wellness hotel, slightly uh, on the kind of like minimal vibes. We were, I guess we were trying to find somewhere along the lines of Atzaro, our favorite hotel in Ibiza. We were kind of trying to find the Mallorcan version and it definitely has a lot of similarities. The food here is absolutely incredible. It's very just aesthetically beautiful. So I'll try and show you around as much as possible. They have the most amazing lunch menu. You'll have seen um, in the clips, I've had patatas bravas, I've had jamón, I've had croquetas, and they have amazing rosé as well. So I'm very, very happy. We are literally just chilling for the entire week. Today, we went down, don't think I took any video clips, um, but we went down to a place called Cala Torta, which is a lovely beach. We actually had to walk about 25 minutes after parking the car because the best beaches are the hardest ones to get to and it was quite quite a walk but definitely worth it. Um, and this evening we are going out for dinner in a nearby, actually I think it's on the coast, the hotel is inland, um, but where we're going for dinner is on the coast so I'm about to just freshen myself up before heading out there. What else do I need to tell you? Um, <laughs> well, I guess I'll start with my outfit of the day. I did have a bikini on while I was on the beach earlier, but I always just feel more confident putting a swimsuit on after lunch. <laughs> I don't think I need to explain myself any further. And this is the Missoni um, swimming costume that I got in the Luis Aviroma sale, which may still be on by the time you're watching this. I did an entire blog post on the sale, so I'll leave that link down below. I love the swimsuit. It's got a really um, low back and quite like a cheeky bottom, which I find a lot more flattering. And then these are just my H&M shorts and my Hermes sandals, which have turned out to be a pretty good investment, I would say. This is all of my um, outfits for while we're here. I've got some lovely Zimmerman. I did bring this strange beach item. Um, I've got quite a few cover-ups. Where's this one from? Paloma Blue, my Alexandra Miro favourites. Um, some gorgeous cult Gaia dresses, the dress that I wore on embarkation day on the Disney cruise. We have obviously unpacked all our stuff now so it looks a lot messier than the last time I showed you. The room is just absolutely gorgeous and then we've got this lovely terrace area. It's very peaceful. Oh my gosh, you guys, and I almost didn't tell you the most exciting part. Not really, but it's very exciting to me. We are literally minutes away from the Love Island Villa. It feels really weird knowing that they are all just literally over the hills. <laughs> literally those hills just there. Yeah, we are super, super close. I have, of course, been keeping up with Love Island um, while we've been out here. And the day that we leave is the day of the final. I'm not going to lie. I am manifesting seeing some of them out and about on their dates while we're here. But yeah. Anyway, so I am now going to get myself ready for dinner. I don't think I'm going to wash my hair today because I washed it yesterday, but I'll do a little skincare, holiday skincare routine with you guys. Um, what can I prop you up on without risking destroying my camera again? Okay, I would say that is pretty good. You guys should be very proud of me. I actually bought a little tripod with me this time, just a baby one, but it means I don't have to use hairsprays to balance my camera, which is 
wonderful. I've actually got little marks on my head at the moment because I've been wearing my cap all day. I actually can't sunbathe with my face in the sun anymore. I have to have a cap on just to create shade over my face. My eyes are so sensitive and I just really don't want to get sunburnt. I have managed to get a little bit, oh, my necklace is on <laughs> the wrong way around. I did manage to actually get a little bit too much sun on my chest while we were in the UK the day that we got back from Palm Beach. Um, it was about 27 degrees in the UK and I was honestly out in the sun for like 20 minutes and yeah, I just managed to slightly burn my chest. But anyway, I'm gonna do my face, <laughs> my face prep with you guys now. I always think it is so important to really thoroughly cleanse your skin. When you're on holiday, especially during the summer months, whether it's SPF that needs cleansing off, any dregs of makeup that you've had on during the day, and also, sorry to be a bit gross, but sweat. So a good cleansing is very, very important. I have bought my favorite cleansing routine with me. So first of all, I'm going to use my Elemis Micellar Cleansing Micellar Water. My Elemis discount code is still live, or it's relaunched, so I'll leave the code on the screen for you here. That is for most full-size products on the website. I know that so many of you have got lots of Elemis favorites just like me, and this is the perfect opportunity to stock up, whether it's the Pro Collagen Face Cream, the Under Eye Patches, the Micellar Water, the Body Products. Now is an amazing time to stock up with the discount code, so thank you so much to Elemis for sharing that. I always find a Micellar water on hand on, on handy <laughs> on holiday is just the most handy product to have whether it's just before lunch you want to quickly swipe over your face to give yourself a quick cleanse so that you can just freshly apply your SPF after a morning in the sun or if it's at the end of the day after a shower first thing you wake up in the morning I would say my micellar water is probably my most used skincare product when I'm on holiday this bottle I find is the perfect size it's not too big and yet it's got enough product in there that's going to last me beyond the entire week that we're here. So I did bring my little reusable cotton pads with me. Oh, these are actually Sally Hughes ones. I'll leave my favorite reusable cotton pads linked down below. So that just helps to take that first bit of makeup, um, SPF, things like that off your face. But I would say that a micellar water alone is not enough. In the mornings, sometimes I just use a micellar water, but when you've been out and about, you do need a second cleanse. So of course my next step with the cleansing is going to be with the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. This is my little mini that comes with me on all of my holidays. If and when this runs out, I literally just refill it with my full-size version from home. But I also bought with me their new edition. They do bring out new scents of this every now and then and this is the Summer Bloom Cleansing Balm. So when this little pot runs out, I'm going to be trying Actually, I'm going to try it now. <laughs> I'm going to try it now, the new Summer Bloom Cleansing Balm. I've mentioned this approximately 10 million times before on my YouTube channel. It is one of my all-time favorite Elemis products. Probably my favorite... Oh my gosh, that smells <laughs> heavenly. One of my favorite... Um, cleansing products of all time. Elemis as a brand, so one of their slogans, mottos, one of their mottos is defined by nature, led by science. So a lot of the products contain natural active ingredients and yet all of the products have got scientifically backed um, proof that they are working. They're helping with so many of the skin concerns we might have, whether it's anti-aging. The entire Pro Collagen range is known for its anti-aging benefits. That's why it's such an iconic range and so many other skincare benefits as well. This is a fantastic product for when you're on holiday because it's just so nourishing and calming for the skin. It literally feels like I am in a spa right now. In fact, Elemis is a spa brand. Um, they don't test on animals, instead they test on the millions and millions of people that go and use Elemis spas every single day and you really get that full sensorial spa-like experience when you're using the products. The ingredients are such high quality and just such a an absolute dream to use. This literally feels like I'm having a facial in my own bathroom and it lifts, just gently lifts any makeup and impurities from the skin while nourishing, calming, hydrating. Oh, it's just heavenly. They literally call this product a spa in a jar. So it starts out like um, a balm consistency, which you probably will know if you've seen me using this before. Oh, having a dribble. And then it's this gorgeous, like silky, oily consistency on your face, which I absolutely love. It feels so soft, gives you baby soft skin afterwards. And then once you apply a little bit of water, 
like so then it turns into this milky consistency and you can really feel this deeply cleansing and nourishing the skin you've got all the essential oils in here which are really working to nourish and hydrate the skin as well as cleansing and then once you've massaged that in I'm not forgetting the neck as well I like to use a flannel to remove this is why you have to double cleanse and not rely on micellar water because this is the makeup that was still on my face as you can see it also removes waterproof mascara not a trace of makeup left on my skin oh, that feels so refreshing after a day in the sun so that is gosh the fragrance of that i think could very quickly become my favorite the summer bloom next so at home you may know i like to use my active ingredients in the evening and that's like retinols and things like that. I do not do that when I'm on holiday because I feel like retinols and then a full day in the sun, not a good idea. So I like to use something a lot more gentle for just a little bit of resurfacing because you do want to keep your skin just very gently resurfacing on a daily level, on a daily basis when you are on holiday. So I have brought with me my little mini. I will leave the full size versions of these linked down below so that you can use the discount code of the Superfood Fruit Vinegar Liquid Glow Radiance Facial Toner. Don't let the word vinegar <laughs> put you off with this product. Essentially, this has just got the AHAs from fruit enzymes, including apple vinegar, I believe peach. So it's super gently exfoliating, but a liquid form of exfoliation. So the AHAs within those fruit enzymes just very gently nipples away at those dead skin cells, essentially brightening and leaving your skin looking glowing, looking healthy, looking radiant, but it does so in the most gentle way. So instead of using so instead of using retinols um, to resurface the skin while I'm away, I find this is just a much more gentle way of doing so. And again, when you've got SPFs and sweat and makeup and things like that on your skin on holiday, it really is important to keep up a little bit of exfoliation just to maintain a bright glowing complexion and I also find that it prevents me getting those annoying little under skin bumpy spots. I used to always get such bad skin on holiday and I think it's honestly because my pores were just constantly clogged with all the gross things that I've just mentioned and using products like this just helps to keep it thoroughly cleansed, helping to clear out those pores, um, making them less visible. I believe this is also a prebiotic formula which just helps to the skin to balance out its microbiome, essentially just keeping the skin happy so it's looking and feeling its best when you're away from home and at home as well, obviously. Okay, I wouldn't do this every single day, but Charlie is in the spa at the moment, so I'm gonna have my own little moment of pampering. These are the Pro Collagen Hydrogel Eye Masks. I am a huge, I <laughs> am a huge fan of eye masks. This is definitely something that I would recommend adding to your holiday makeup bag if you're going on a long haul flight and especially if the under eyes is an area of concern for you. For me, it is an area, it is the number one area of concern for me. Anything that I can do to soften the looks of those little fine lines that are creeping in around the under eyes, I'm definitely gonna do it. And I've tried many, many, many under eye gel masks, but these, I can literally feel them working. They are so hydrating. It actually says on the back, clinically proven hydrogel eye masks formulated to instantly reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Eye contours are left looking smoother and feeling intensely moisturized. I would definitely say that's true. So I'm gonna leave these on while I do a little bit of work. I'm just gonna catch up on a few emails for 20 minutes or so while these work their magic and that's just going to really hydrate and moisturize my under eye area which it is craving after a day in the sun. <laughs> I was looking for the bin but you are balanced on it. <laughs> because I have been in the sun all day I am just going to add a little bit of my iconic pro collagen marine cream to my forehead um, and other areas of the skin that I can access because I'm just going to let my skin drink that in. If you guys have not tried the Pro Collagen Marine Cream, it is an iconic, award-winning, best-selling product for so many reasons. It promises to plump fine lines, boost radiance, firm, moisturize the skin. It is honestly one of those absolutely does-it-all products. 
youthful skin in a jar. It's got almost like a gel-like consistency, so especially when you're away on holiday, you just want something that's going to sink in really, really quickly, but then also it's such an iconic part of my skincare routine at home as well but i know so many people that swear by this for its anti-aging properties it also <laughs> smells absolutely incredible i'm going to put another layer of that on my skin once my eye masks have worked their magic plant actives like padina pavonica chlorella ginkgo biloba skin elasticity is improved your visage is rejuvenated an instant hit of moisture padina pavonica is a brown algae found on the mediterranean coast maybe i can find some when i go snorkeling tomorrow supports hydration, chlorella firms and encourages cell turnover with its vitamin C content, while Padina pavonica is more algae containing fatty acids, amino acids and conditioners to get the skin glowing. Mimosa, <laughs> fan leather goods, <laughs> offers anti-inflammatory toning and astringent properties while delicate rose nurtures and lends a natural calming fragrance. Those are some of the key ingredients in the Pro Collagen Marine Cream. Literally, it just has so many five-star reviews. I know that lots of you like to use my discount code on the Pro Collagen Marine Cream because it is a firm favorite of so many people's skincare routines. I feel like it's one of those products that once you start using it, you just you understand the hype and you just want to keep on using that every single day whether i'm at home or away you can use it as a day cream a night cream it does come in loads of different sizes as well this is my i think this might be my 30 ml version um but again i'll leave the full size version linked in the description box and you have got i believe until the end of the month i'll leave the dates and all the info for the discount code in the description box down below. Just click the little arrow next to the title of this video and you'll find it all there. Um, okay, darlings, I'm going to get on with some editing. And I'll catch up with you when I am ready to go out for dinner. Okay, my darlings, it's about an hour later. I've done a little bit of um, catching up of Love Island and also... Davide. Davide. And now ready for dinner. Charlie's one of these people that pretends he doesn't like Love Island and yet secretly watches it over my shoulder. Who's your favourite character, darling? Well, you, you know, this isn't even fibbing. That's my first viewing of it. <laughs> Is it I've really? I've like 10 minutes. Yeah, when else? Well, we don't watch TV. When I'm taking my makeup off at home, sometimes you watch it over my shoulder. We don't even watch TV, though. I was thinking this the other day. Other than live sport, I don't watch any TV. You are an actress. A liar. <laughs> what is, what's the thing? You are a liar, an actress. Get the fuck out. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so this evening we are heading to a lovely restaurant nearby on the oh. beach for dinner. I don't usually make this much of an effort with my hair. Normally, to be honest, I just scrape it back in a bun, get it out of the way. But we're going to take a few photos tonight, so I thought I would add some curls. Um, the dress is this really beautiful, almost dusky pink, like a burnt orange. Sorry about all the towels on the floor. Uh, it's kind of like burnt orange pinky sunset tone. I love the fact that it's a bardeau off the shoulder. This little straw waist belt matching in with my Valentino bag. And then I have got these lovely twisted uh, raffia mules on. They're actually Oasis, but you can also get these on Debenhams too. I will leave all of my outfit details linked down below. I have got my usual jewellery on and then um, ring and earrings from Soru Jewellery. I will probably end up putting sunglasses on as well. I have this really fun new pair from a brand called Jimmy Fairley and they're a really cool kind of mother of pearl frame. Let me show you how they look on. They're just quite retro. I wish these had arrived for Palm Beach. They would have been perfect for Palm Beach but I mean they look totally ridiculous with this outfit but with my bikini tomorrow I think that'd be great fun and I can use them for just scraping my hair back from my head for dinner. <laughs> darlings 
face well I look totally ridiculous because we have left the pool and the hotel fairly early this evening we have got an hour's drive ahead of us we're heading towards Port Porto de Poyenza and tonight we have a lovely dinner at one of Charlie's family friends houses so very much looking forward to that I thought seeing as we've got an hour in the car I would let my hair dry naturally hopefully with a little bit of curl with my heatless waves and as for outfit of the evening it's Charlie's birthday, by the way. Happy Big three, two. Big three, Big three, two. two. <clears throat> uh, as for the outfit of the evening, I've gone for the white dress and red lip combo that was my favourite during the Disney cruise and my Jimmy Fairly sunglasses. I feel very retro. I'll give you a proper outfit of the day once my hair is out of these crazy curls. So we've got a lovely drive ahead of us. 56 minutes, gosh. It's quite a long, <clears throat> it's quite a long drive. way, but... It is. It'll be worth it. So apologies I've not vlogged at all today, but we've just been by the pool all day. It's been a very, very chill day. We did yoga again to start. Um, yeah, just put the port in. 34 kilometers. Perfecto. Where's your outfit from, darling? Oh, sorry. It's just... Where is your outfit of the day from, darling? My outfit of the day, we have um, British brand Drake's mm -hmm. shorts. I think they're made in Portugal though but they're amazing quality. <clears throat> Shoes are from a brand called, which you can't even see, so it's kind of pointless, but Mor Morha, M-O-R-J-A-S. Morha. And then the shirt is from a brand called Luca Falloni, mm -hmm. um, which is Italian, Italian yes. made. It's a lovely and, one. Yeah, do you know what? I, well, that's the thing. I think I have built up in my head that shirts are quite uncomfortable from my time and work, having to wear them for work in London. Yeah. And I often don't wear them on holiday, but actually this linen is more breathable than wearing like a knitted polar or something. Oh my gosh, yeah. Um, so <clears throat> yeah, enjoying it. The only negative is there's no iron in our room, so it's a little bit creased in places. Yeah. But I think with linen, you kind of just have to accept that. Otherwise, you, you know. You just have to look at what like the locals are wearing and the well-dressed Spanish or Mallorcan men, they are wearing linen shirts and the Italian men will often see wearing linen shirts. So we have this lovely driveway down to our hotel. It's really beautiful. <laughs> um, Just oh, yeah, but a little hard to follow. epic fail when it came to vlogging yesterday and epic fail when it came to my heatless waves as well. I was very optimistic that um, the car journey and the wind would dry my hair in the curls but alas it was not meant to be so it was another hair back evening. So we had a huge lion today, we had such a lovely time at uh, Charlie's family friends yesterday and we didn't get home to bed until about two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so we had a lovely lion this morning and Charlie and I have both been doing a little bit of work at the um, breakfast area, it's slightly overcast today so we're just weighing up whether we're going to climb that hill, <laughs> that um, hill, mountain? Um, hill. I would say mountain. <laughs> mountain okay <laughs> climb that mountain or more likely just pop on our trainers and do a little bit of a mini hike around um, the estate here because it's so beautiful and it's also really big lots of olive groves um, lots of grape vine vineyard areas so there's lots to explore here and then maybe just do a little bit of reading <coughs> <laughs> A little bit of a reading by the pool later. I've got on another really lovely set from Alexandra Miro. It's the same polka dot pattern as my um, set that I wore non-stop in Palm Beach, but this is a different swimsuit, a bandeau swimsuit, um, and then this lovely beach dress with these kind of angel wings, which is really beautiful. 
but I think I'm going to pop on my um, workout wear for our morning activity. Well, afternoon activity. It's already gone midday. We are being very leisurely this morning. Then we've got some more treatments here at the hotel, some massages later, and um, dinner at another lovely hotel nearby. So I'm going to try and be a little bit better at vlogging from today because I filmed precisely nothing <laughs> so far. So are you ready to go and... We're going to go and explore, aren't we? Mm -hmm. And the ammo. Okay, out of my lovely floral, not floral, polka dot um, swim outfit, breakfast outfit, and into my Adenola set. I've got my, this is the milk white sports bra, just the one with the simple straps, and I um, can't remember the name of the colour of the bottoms, but it's a nice little combination. The shorts are the super high-waisted ones, which personally I think are the most flattering. And then I've got my little, very old, you might remember this, um, used to be my skiing handbag because it's this leather which is super kind of um, scratch and mark resistant. Normally I keep my hair bubbles in this <laughs> when I'm travelling, but it's also really useful for little, little expeditions like this. So, oh, and my usual trainers. So we're just going to go for a little, a little walk, maybe 45 minutes to an hour while it's a tiny bit cloudy. The sun is starting to come out though, so I'm sure it won't be long until we're back here into our bathing suits again for an afternoon by the pool. We've already found some friendly faces on our walk. Couple of burros. Hello, Scruffy. You look like bunny rabbits. Yeah. You look like bunny rabbits. Shit, look at all the flies on it. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Con tus labios rosados Yo me muero Por una prueba de placer Siempre que estoy a tu lado Lo que siento Nadie más lo podrá saber Vamos y sin censura Yo te hago todo a ti dulzura Que paso en ti yo solo cuenta todo Y si tú quieres te pone a buscar Como tú lo mueves a pa pam pam, haciendo locura en la mañana. Si alguien te pregunta no ha pasado nada. Si lo amaneciste en mi cama. Dale besame, ven y atrápame. Hagamos jueguitos que de chiquito no pude hacer. Dale besame, ven y atrápame. Que fourth day in a row having patatas bravas and rosé for lunch. <laughs> At this point I am 90% patatas bravas and rosé. Charlie's got a ribeye, chard croquetas, no, um, fritters, fritters. and mushroom croquetas. It is our fourth evening here in Mallorca and we have a very chilled one this evening. Charlie and I have spent the afternoon by the pool. Obviously we did our lovely hike this morning and then had a lunch here at the hotel. Um, and then thankfully blue skies came back to us. So we spent the afternoon by the pool. I'm, I'm about halfway through my book and I'm reading Paper Palace. I have to say, at the moment I'm not seeing what all the fuss is about quite just yet. I'm hoping something dramatic is going to happen and it's going to become a page turner. It's very nicely written, but I don't know. I guess because the last book I read was so 
thrilling. This one is just, I don't know, not really doing it for me yet, but I'll report back when I finished it. And Charlie and I also both had another hour long spa treatment each. It was a mineral massage. It was just a lovely massage with kind of like mineral based oils, which we left on our skin for a long time afterwards. So feeling silky smooth at the moment. Um, so yeah, tonight just having dinner at the hotel and I'm heading out with wet hair. It'll just dry naturally in the evening breeze. And I have popped on my new Zimmerman dress from Luisa Vieroma and my usual Valentino bag. And then I've got my Aquazura heels on. I actually haven't even put earrings in, but to be honest, we're probably only going to be out for about an hour this evening. Have a nice light dinner here at the hotel um, and then get a fairly early night because we've got a fun day ahead tomorrow. We have got a boat day tomorrow. Everywhere that we go, Charlie always makes friends with everyone. <laughs> and we actually made friends with a couple that were staying at um, this hotel. Um, they've now moved to another hotel nearby, however, for the rest of their trip. However, they very kindly invited us to join them on their boat day tomorrow. So that's the plan. So it's an early start to get to the port for just after nine in the morning. So a nice chilled evening tonight is just what we need, especially after last night's very, very late night. So without further ado, Andiamo. Where are you? Let's go. What are you wearing? Buongiorno. Davide. Um, what am I wearing? I mean, I, do you know how, how long did it take me to get ready? I can't three believe minutes. it. It took you less than three minutes. I haven't actually showered because so I've still got oil on from the massage. Because we're eating it. Dinka. Smell amazing. Creed Aventus. But um, uh, what have I got? Mr. Porter. Yes. It's a brand called Morgers. Morgers? Morgers? Is it a Mallorcan yes. brand? I don't know. Menebi are the other espadrilles. These ones are a bit smarter. Oh, I think that other brand is the Mallorcan one. Oh, really? Menebi, yeah. Um, and then the shorts are also from Mr. Porter, but a brand called Sid Mashburn, which I'm rather obsessed with because they're quite Ooh. a nice length. They see a sucker. Yeah, they see a sucker. If you've got short legs like me, you need short shorts. Oh, I've got short legs too. Yeah, we're short leg friends. I mean, our children, <laughs> like... our future children have no idea. <laughs> they're going to have. Our current children have got short legs too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we should start up. May, may, maybe we should rename our business the short legged crew. crew. Hashtag Swan. short legged crew. Right, let's turn these lights off. <laughs> Good morning, my darlings. Coming to you this morning from the port. Today is our boat day. We have driven about half an hour to Port de Alcudia. Finally, the heatless waves actually worked. I slept in them last night and they'll probably vanish the second we hit the water, but never mind. So I've got on my Missoni swimsuit again, H&M shorts, and then the day's essentials in my basket bag. What's your outfit of the day, darling? Outfit of the day, all of our brown shorts, Drake's yeah. t-shirt, my, probably my two favorite summer brands. Very nice. Both British brands. <laughs> Always mention that, but there yeah. you go. And we have lots to carry. So lots to carry, Let's and the other. Yeah. And these two little doggies have just been for their morning swim. Oh, a friend is joining them. We're gonna say hello. We're gonna say hello. Alegria de Vivir, a personal creation. I don't know what Nacho means. Well, it's Mallorcan, obviously, which is nice. I'm drinking something local. We have just had a lovely lunch 
at the spot La Terrazza. We've been pulling into various different coves, different bays, and our favourite so far is a place called Formentor, where apparently they are building a Four Seasons Hotel very soon. I'm not sure the name of this bay. There is a few people on the beach. It's a very pebbly beach, and they have had to come down at this ginormous hill to get here. So we've taken the easy way by arriving by boat. I've got my River Island jelly shoes on, and we're going to go for a little swim to the shore and a little post-lunch dunk camp. So it's my gorgeous day, perfect day for sailing. It's a little bit more time in the sea, and then we're heading back to shore. And Joe shows his social skills, goes to me. <coughs> Good evening my darlings, we are back on dry land after the loveliest day on the boat today. We visited various different bays, some bays which you can't actually access any other way other than by boat. We had a gorgeous lunch at a restaurant called La Terrazza. I feel like we took a lot of sun today and oh my goodness that post boat shower feels like the best shower in the entire world. We are heading for dinner tonight at a nearby hotel, can you remember the name darling? Haumel? Hotel Son Haumel. Son Haumel. How, ha, Haumel. Haumel. And the chef at this particular restaurant uh, was previously at El Bulli, and any foodies watching will have heard of El Bulli. Give it a Google if you haven't. And I believe he bought the first, he's the first chef to have received a Michelin star in Mallorca. Hopefully it's not going to be too much of a tasting menu. We're hoping that we can have still a fairly quick dinner because we're both quite exhausted after a day on the boat. But I have popped on my lovely scalloped Zimmerman dress. This is the one that has got the tie detail at, ooh, at the back. Um, little scallop details at the top here and the scallops down at the bottom as well. I've popped on my more greeny Soru earrings and my matching sorry ring which matches my big flower earrings and these earrings which is absolutely perfect sorry about all the towels everywhere <laughs> um the usual debenhams oasis shoes and valentino handbag so that's my look for the evening charlie is also in green green and linen Ooh. outfit of the evening i don't know i'm not loving this shirt the fit why i like the color but i don't love the fit no it looks good it's where's from it from mango, but mango. I don't love the fit of it. and trues Shoes are from that brand, Morgia's again, Morgia. Trousers uh, mango? Yeah, the shirt, no, Yeah, they're really good holiday it. trousers. It, it feels a bit baggy. Trousers need taking up a little bit as well. To be honest, this trip I didn't try anything on before coming on holiday, so I've got a lot of new clothes, which is fab, but not necessarily all that fit. Dingbat. Right. <laughs> there you go, sneeze. Lovely dress. Beautiful dress. Charlie and I had a very leisurely start to the day. We actually didn't get out of bed, I'm ashamed to admit, until about nine in the morning, which is probably the biggest lion that we have had in years, <laughs> I would say. But that is what holidays are for. It wasn't even a particularly late night last night. The dinner was incredible. Andreas, something, I will put the name of the chef on the screen here. The food was incredible. There was the option to have a tasting menu or a la carte. Tasting menus are normally eight to 12 dishes and they can take a very long time to have a full tasting menu experience. So we decided to go a la carte and the dishes were all absolutely scrumptious. It's always the little little things that they do as well, like the little nibbly bits. What do you call them, the bits you have before the meal? Like the- I mean, it is a mousse-bouche, isn't it? Mousse-bouche. Um, the, um, I, I think also the thing we have with tasting menus, on one hand, I absolutely love food. Yes. But you don't love, there's a lot of bits of food like fish you don't love. So obviously mm -hmm. a, a classic 12 course tasting menu I reckon would normally have about six fish dishes, yeah. five or six. Yeah. So A, we've got to replace those. Mm -hmm. But also then on my side, the alcohol, because we saw yes. an English couple were there and they were having a lovely evening. 
and um, <laughs> no, but they were having the, the sommelier was coming over, and it's all about the story. Yeah. So I think when you remove the not like the alcohol from it, mm -hmm. the tasting menu loses a little bit of shine because yeah. you enjoy the glass of wine with the food. Yeah. I'm not going to have a, a well, oh, this is a, maybe we need a water sommelier, a different yeah. glass of sparkling water. That would be great. But either way, we had um, we were able to kind of cherry pick the bits that we wanted, and it was all absolutely delicious. So if you are looking your for course? Oh, the rice. It was like a vegetable yeah. rice, which sounds very boring, Thing but is, it was scrumptious. It's funny because I've noticed in Mallorca, I don't know if it's the same in Spain, but when they say rice, it's always just paella rice. Yeah. Isn't it? Is it like, <laughs> yeah. that, that is their rice. They mm. don't, you know, so it, and it soaks in a lot more flavour. Whereas if we use brown or white rice, it wouldn't do the same, would it? True. That our is our arrived. buggy. Our carriage has arrived. We are heading to a local town um, this morning for... Hello, how are you? How are you? So far, good morning. Looking good? Yeah. How's your haircut <laughs> 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 To go yeah. to the market. <laughs> um, and then we're going to go to the beach, so vamos. <laughs> chat to you. So we've spent the morning exploring the market in what did you say the name of the town is? San Severa. I think it's S E R V E R S. Severa. I think Severa. San Severa? Let me have a look. Los Severa? Son Severa. Son Severa. -E so Son Severa. Yeah, which is so it's basically like the nearest town. It's got to be a town rather than a village to Arta, which yeah. is where we're staying. Mm -hmm. um, it's about 15 minutes, isn't it? And one yeah. of the lovely uh, Maria who works at our hotel um, lives here, doesn't she? Yeah, she, she recommended it. I would say, if I'm being honest, the market, I wouldn't come here purely for the market. I'd come yeah. here for a nice cup of coffee. There's a lovely pasta restaurant. Yeah, yes. We really haven't eaten there. Pepperoncini. It looks amazing, doesn't it? We instead have got some bocadillos from a baker here and we're gonna go to the beach aren't we because there's yep. some lovely beaches around here beautiful the market takes me back in time because nothing's changed <laughs> in like 20 like years, years old coming to Spain. it's really for the locals and I'm, I think well, it's for the, the clothes, I think, and like the bedding and stuff is for the locals, and there's jewellery and like handmade Mallorcan products. There's not a lot of handmade Mallorcan, but I was looking out for like olive oil or yeah. something truly yeah. Mallorcan, and there isn't actually. Yeah. But what I would say is, I think we, yeah, it's nice just for a day out, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Something a bit different. It was a bit cloudy yeah. this morning. We found this little place on the side street called. Aplek, and there's a lovely girl that Aplek, <laughs> Dex is my Plek, and she has done an oat milk frappe latte, an iced oat milk latte. Charlie's got a lovely espresso. We poked our noses in and saw that she had a great coffee machine. It's actually really lovely. Let me show you. She's got some incense burning here, a little boutique as well, some clothing. It's just very aesthetic. She's done a lovely job. My darlings, back with back with the mirror selfie. We have spent the entire afternoon on a beach. It was actually a really lovely beach called Cala Pin. I think it was called P I N, like pine. Um, and it was a really lovely beach. I think mostly locals there. We got some sun chairs, which was great. It was really easy to park right up next to. A bit of a winner. There was also a beach bar there, which um, we had a couple of ice creams and a couple of drinks from. When you're on the beach, it's very deceiving when it comes to tanning and burning because it is super breezy and both Charlie and I didn't really feel any kind of burn at all today, but we're both a little bit rouge, so 
Yes, we've got a lot of after sun on, that's for sure. Tonight we are heading somewhere for dinner. I'm not too sure where. It's somewhere that the hotel recommended um, and booked for us. So we're heading out now. Outfit of the evening is this very colourful pleated dress, which is another of my Debenhams numbers. And I've popped in. I literally just have my Soru earrings with me on this trip. The lovely big um, florals. Valentino bag. This is the only bag that I bought with me for evenings and the same shoes, the little raffia oasis via Debenhams um, little strappy shoes. So a very colourful outfit of the evening. We're getting a buggy down to the car park and tengo hambre. Vamos! This is our dinner spot for tonight, Sapunta Gastro Bar. Oh, what a fabulous doorway. Well, this is a lovely spot, darling. Well done for organizing. So did you just email the hotel and ask for some recommendations? Well, I did just ask the hotel for them. Recommendations, they gave me a little list and then I had a look. Very nice, is that Alioli? That is Alioli. Alioli. <laughs> Very nice. And we have got a gorgeous view, look at this. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Muy bien. Oh, wow. yep. to create hydroelectricity. Good morning, my darlings. It's now Saturday morning. We started the day with yoga again today. It was a very busy class. There must have been about 12 people in the class, whereas on the other days, it's been maximum four, four, five, I think. So a very busy yoga class to start the day. We did yin yoga, which is basically where you kind of hold your poses for three to four minutes each which sounds easy, but when you've been doing some strange side stretch for three minutes, it starts to get a little bit sore, but we're both feeling good after the yoga. So we've had breakfast and we're now heading down to the pool. We have got a full pool day today. We're gonna have lunch here at the hotel and um, we've also got a couple's massage at half past four. And then tonight we have got the Fiesta Blanca, which is the white party over in Puyensa. So another lovely evening ahead. I've popped on my little beach play suit. This is a really fun play suit from Alexandra Miro, which is very quickly becoming a favorite beach brand of mine. Obviously my gorgeous polka dots um, cover up and the items that I wore all the time in Palm Beach, all Alexandra Miro. This piece I believe is from the brand's collaboration with Hannah Strafford Taylor, who is one of my favorite ladies to follow on Instagram. She's got a gorgeous, elegant style. And then underneath, I have been loving wearing these bikini Bible um, bikinis. Charlie actually bought me a few before we came out on holiday. This one's got a really nice kind of paisley pattern um, and they're just very flattering bottoms. I don't like anything that's too big and and bum covering, but also it's not so thongy that I feel uncomfortable wearing it around the pool. So a really good balance, good for good for getting a nice tan and also not being too over revealing. And then I've got all of my beach essentials in my Loewe. I bought this and also the fabric bag from Shantikai, which has proved very useful. This is my kind of extras bag. Um, so. When we head out later, I can just chuck a couple of extra bits in there. And then I have to say my Hermes Oran sandals have been a really good investment. I'm very glad that I picked these up and I'm slightly tempted to look at some other colors as well. But I know that the what tan- colors are they coming? Oh, everything. <laughs> Orange, blue, white, black, pink. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think that they're really versatile. All the yeah. colours you just mentioned. You're never going to wear black, are you? No. Pink would look quite cute. Yeah, but actually, it's quite cheap looking pink. I think I, 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 think, the I, think, if... I think the Hermes orange is quite cheap. Yeah. Looking, to be honest, it's yeah. EasyJet orange. I, Easy never, jet. I never understand why they <gasps> Hermes have like pioneered this orange colour. It's the cheapest yeah. Pantone. I think. Um, I think a colour like this sort of colour. Yeah. Would be really nice, but I bet they don't. This has become like a his and hers, what we wore in Mallorca. So where are these swimming trunks from, darling? This is a brand that I saw 
in. Um, Hang on, I can't see you stand. Sorry, I'm standing against the wall, am I? Yeah. <laughs> this is a this is a brand that I saw in the back of a magazine. So you what? know those, you know those like ridiculous little advert. Not they're not ridiculous. If I launched a brand tomorrow, that's probably where I could afford to advertise if I wanted to do it in print advertising. Um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'll leave that there. But um, it worked because I bought them. It's uh, I think it's OAS. But the reason I bought. Um, the reason I wanted to go on their website was they have these like toweling t-shirts. Oh. So all of our brand do some lovely like polo shirts, but they don't have toweling t-shirts. Right. So I thought that they're really nice to put on after you've been in the sun um, for lunch or something. Lovely. But these are nice, and they're also elasticated. And at this point in the holiday, after lots you of need bread, it. I feel the like they need it. And the shoes? These are um, your favorites. Yeah, My favourites are yours. Yeah, so, th so these are the. I'll give you a little excuse. Our oil spill. These are the brand called Morges. Morgers. Which are a bit more expensive, and I'd say they're better made, mm -hmm. but you don't really want to wear them on the beach because they're a bit more expensive. Right. Whereas these are the Menebis. Oh, like they these. are great. These are great. These are more for evenings. Where did you buy them, Mr. Porter? No, no, just Menebi, their website. The only thing I would say is so they, they do come women's? From, yeah, they, and they do handbags and everything. Oh. They come from abroad, though. I don't mm. quite know where it could be Spain, but the only thing is, as a result, the returns is a nightmare. So nightmare. you kind of need to work out what size you are. Um, so I would order one pair, Ooh, I would comfy. order one pair, right. and then and then when you find your size, if you want a couple, but they're really comfy, and to be honest, I tell you what, this is a very long segment from Charlie, <laughs> you're probably switching off, but if you've got short legs, and I don't know, like, I feel like with shorter legs, the, 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 the having no heel is a bit more flattering. It is, it's um, leg That's a lot more flattering on your leg than, for example, this is, but these are obviously super comfy. Um, so yeah, there you go, and they match the hotel bag, which I've become quite attached to. Maybe so we can I'm buy them. Ask if you can buy them. I'm sure you can because it's it's the sort of bag that's perfect for the beach. Yeah. But also, you're not worried about it getting ruined on the sand yeah. or anything. It's like a hessian bag. Yeah, isn't it? really nice natural fabric. Lovely fashion tips with Charlie. Yeah, right, yeah. vamos a la playa. Vamos a la piscina. Gosh, even though it's already 11 a.m., it looks like we are the first at the pool this morning. I mean, it's not a very busy hotel, but yeah, we're the only ones here. Private poolside day today. This is gorgeous infinity pool. They've got some lovely grasses, some beautiful trees here. Big olive trees. Pool with a view. This is our favorite little area. My darlings, a very quick intro to this evening. We have driven back to Charlie's family friend's house in Poyenza and we are going to the Fiesta Blanco this evening, which is the white party in the Poyenza town. I think they've got a nice table booked for dinner, have they? Yeah, Square? with some friends. I yeah. think, are we going to get the dog welcome party or not? Where are the doggies? We well, had a great welcome last time we arrived, <laughs> the two dogs charging down the driveway. Yeah. So we're both in our finest all white outfits. I've got this lovely cold guy dress on. Charlie, quick outfit of the day. Uh, shorts are from a brand called Sid Mashburn. <laughs> I swear you've worn that brand every day so far, haven't you? I've, yeah, I've got loads of shorts from them. I really like them. They're quite short shorts, which is nice. And yep. then this is actually just from Reese. Lovely. Um, feel very odd wearing all white. It does feel like we're going. Um, Whereas I am very much in my comfort zone. Yeah. Anyway, I've just Lovely got here. driveway. It's a beautiful driveway. Gorgeous house. It's kind of like the Cotswolds area of Mallorca. Beautiful. Look at this olive tree, my 